my name's Jamie Oswald. I'm joined, uh, as always, by Clint Vosloo. Hey, everyone. Uh, and our special guest today is Steve Morris from the Eventful Group. So, Steve, you want to give us a hey? Hi, everyone. How's it going? Um, and so today we're here to talk about the upcoming uh, Business Intelligence and Analytics Conference that Eventful is putting on in conjunction with ASUG. I'm probably getting all of that branding wrong, so I'll let Steve clean it up. Um, but I know that this is Eventful's first analytics conference in North America. Uh, and so I know firsthand how great Eventful conferences have been overseas. Uh, and I'm pretty familiar with the local uh, conference market. So I thought it would just be a good opportunity to sort of introduce Eventful uh, and talk about the event in case anybody, you know, just wasn't sure what uh, what they were getting themselves in for. So sure. with that, Steve, I'm going to throw the ball right to you. And uh, if you can, you know, tell us the, the facts and figures on the event um, and a little bit about what we should look forward to. Sure. So I wanted to start with a quick history lesson as to who we are and our play in the BI space and business analytics space over time. We've been yeah, Steve, doing it. Steve, yes. sorry to cut in there, brother, but we can only see your forehead, which is sweating. So do you want to move the camera down a little bit? There we I'd go. I'd love to. And let me tell you, sweating. If, sweating, if I can't gonna, believe it. If you guys are going to get Snapchatty, we're going to turn this off. All right. <laughs> um, it's very hot. I'm sitting in my car. Um, can you see me now, Clint? Is that better? That's, that's, I mean, you, if someone, someone as pretty as you needs to be in full camera. Perfect. So uh, 13 years ago, we launched the SAP Business Intelligence Conference in Australia. It's become a big hit. Um, it became the biggest SAP BI show in that region. We launched it in South Africa six or seven years ago. And so we have a long legacy of SAP business objects and business intelligence conferences. In fact, we took over the Insights Conference in Australia as well uh, after the acquisition of business objects and ran that for a number of years. So we have a history. In America, we've run SAP conferences since 2004, just none in the BI space. So while we are new, Jamie, you're 100% right. We've been given American audiences the eventful experience with lots of BI content in these industry events, incidentally. But it's good, uh, it's good now that we're part of ASAG, and ASAG acquired us a year ago, and they turned to us and said, here's this business intelligence conference. It used to be SABOC. We've inherited it. We'd like you guys as the experts in how to build and develop and nurture and grow conferences, deliver them to take it over and to, to see what you can do with it. And hence, here we are, uh, eight or nine weeks out from our first conference, which is called BI plus A, Business Intelligence and Analytics. It's taking place in Nashville in August. I've made some notes so I could tell you the truth. The 7th to the 9th of August in Nashville, <laughs> Tennessee. And the theme for the conference is beautiful and usable BI. So that's just the highlights reel. I can, I can answer anything you, you want uh, in great. Sure. Uh, so in... In North America, right, uh, we typically have a, a big SAP show that is not specific to, to BI uh, for marketing purposes largely in, uh, in Sapphire, and that's co-located with the ASUG annual conference, which uh, brings a lot in the networking influence and, um, and education area. And then we have a large uh, fall conference called SAP TechEd, which is also not specific to analytics. Um, and I think that, you know, the there have been a number of conferences that have tried to fill that sort of analytics only gap. Um, you know, we've, we've, I know I've been to, uh, you know, SAP Insider put some things on, uh, ASUG had historically put some things on. Um, and I think the, the one thing that I'm really excited about with the eventful conference is that it's not so big, right? So at a lot of those events, you'll see where there are 15 tracks going on at a time. Right. Um, and so even and and you want there to be enough so that you can fill your dance card every hour. Um, but if there's that much going on, you know, you're always missing something. I think my view on eventful and please correct me if I'm wrong, uh, is that rather than trying to deliver as much content as possible, you really focus on trying to deliver the best content. Right. So it's it's not. Um, it's less, you know, sort of sitting back and waiting for abstracts to come in and, and things like that. It's more, you know, you're reaching out, 
uh, your your calling, your sort of interviewing people to to see how they would do to really get the the best program put together, even though it may not be the largest. Am I misstating that? No, you're a hundred percent right. It's all about quality over quantity. You know, this conference has seven tracks at any one time. In other words, you get to go and choose seven sessions. One's SAP sharing roadmaps. We've got a whole bunch of their product managers coming to share the roadmap or the launch of new versions, what functionality exists, etc. <coughs> we've got four tracks primarily delivered by customers. And then we've got two hands-on training tracks that are going on concurrently. And the point is to find the very, very best. Not, you know, there are a lot of conferences out there where there are a lot of speakers who are overexposed. Anyone who puts their hand up to say they want to speak gets a, gets a, a, a ride to the conference and gets to tell their story. But if you're asking people to only choose five time slots in a day, and for those five time slots, you're giving them 30 or 35 choices, I'm pretty sure that if you make sure that at least 30 of the 35 are excellent, because you hunt for them, you don't ask who wants to, who'd like to come and dance, you go and look for the very, very best dancers uh, to pick up on your analogy, and you, and you um, hunt them, and you win them, and you convince them that speaking on this agenda is something they want to do, then you know you're full of quality. And whichever five you pick of those 30 or 35, you, uh, you know you're going to have a good experience. So you're 100% right. I'd say that's one major differentiator, is it's about finding and, and hunting for and bringing on underexposed as opposed to overexposed stories of great quality, not littering it with too much content. That can actually be a problem keeping some nice air, we call it air rating the conference, so that there's also times where you can go and hang out and have conversation and dialogue. People don't want a conference experience anymore where you just go session to session to session and get spoken at. And that's the other thing. But the one more thing, and before I, before I uh, stop answering your question in such a long-winded fashion, um, is that we went out and we interviewed the audience. So we actually conducted interviews with over 90 nine zero customers, including a face-to-face -face focus group with a bunch of customers that you were involved in. And, um, and we asked, what is your pain right now? If you were to pick two things you need to solve in 2017 in the BI and analytics space using SAPs and business objects tools, what would it be? We search, we aggregated it, we rated it in terms of priorities, and we then went out hunting for storytellers who'd overcome those pains already i.e. the audience designed the content. And then we found the storytellers that we knew could best answer the pain in those spaces. So yeah, Jamie, it's about, it's about quality, not quantity. And that's what we hope to bring to the table and pretty sure we have. I think, I think Steve, from my, from my perspective, as, as obviously someone who speaks at a lot of conferences, I just wanted to, to reiterate the point to the people listening. It's not, you know, generally as a speaker, you get, you know, as you admitted, you know, as you said, you know, you get asked to submit an abstract, all the conference producers will say, well, can you speak on X, Y, and Z? And I think the big differentiator with the, with the eventful is, is those interviews that do happen a couple of months ahead of the conference. And I, you know, I've been involved in South Africa running a few of those for you as well, where it's the pain points at this current point, um, not just people who want to speak on anything. Um, and I think that's, it's, it's really reflective of the market and what the market's looking for and what people are struggling for at that point in time. So it's not, it's not, I, you know, it's not stuff that's untangible and, you know, it's out of the possible stuff, but it's real life stuff that happens and real pains that you guys go out and find the speakers and solve those problems, which makes it, you know, A, for the people who are involved in those groups, makes will solve their problem when they come. But for people, you know, generally in our industry, everyone faces pretty much the same pains, no matter, you know, no matter what vertical you're in. But that's, that's a key sure. differentiator, which, which I think is probably going to be unique in the analytics space in North America. Yeah, well, that's, I know. that's good of you to say, Clint. You're, you're 100% right. You know, the other thing, you're talking about the art of the possible. Sorry, Jamie. Go ahead. Uh, you talk about the balance between the art of the possible and the current pains people are experiencing now. And you've got to earn the right to frame the future for people. You've got to give them enough content that they can solve their problems today that gets their boss to say, absolutely, if you can get that answer, go ahead, go to the thing. But then when they're there, it's your duty as the community to also talk about what is possible and what's coming into the future. So people are informed, they feel inspired. So it's the balance between the now and the future. 
Um, it's got to be f- certainly uh, in the favor of now to help people today. And then it's about being a celebration. There are a lot of conferences you can go to where there's just lots of content. But there's some BI conferences with, from other tools and in other countries where it's a real celebration of their technology and what's possible and what's at the leading edge. And you've got to present that stuff. And that's got to be the vibe of the conference, um, a celebration of what's possible. While at the same time, you're right. How do I solve today's problems? So, so Jamie, I, I have to cut in here, bro. This is, this is something Stephen and I or any other South African will understand. Um, you've got to earn the right to go wide. It's a rugby thing. Got to earn the right to go wide. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I apologize to our American audience who has no idea what you're talking about. That's Probably fine. Didn't anyway. um, no, no, no. So I think that's great. And I think that, that that celebration point brings up something that's very near and dear to my heart specifically. Um, is there going to be a conference party? Jamie, <laughs> like, 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 like we like to say in the little valley that Clint and I both lived in in South Africa in Nuita, the more you celebrate, the more you celebrate. And uh, and and yes, of course there, of course there is going to be evening social events. You know, obviously we're always competing with the partners, the partners who come and sponsor the event. We got some wonderful partners this year. Um, want to take their best and brightest, their customers, those they're trying to woo or keep wooing away from the the masses. And of course, we're uh, we're looking to entertain people and leave them with a memorable experience. Bottom line is we're in Nashville. And if if it weren't a party, there would be something slightly wrong with us. Yeah, I, it's probably local law there that you have to do something, I would think. Um, Most mandatory that you have to cycle cycle uh, facing each other with a bomb and standing in between you. And yeah. you've been to Nashville and seen those crazy cycle bus things. Yes. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a good town. I was actually there just a few weeks ago before South Park. I think, I think we're really going to enjoy ourselves. I think um, I was meant to be there as well, but there was a little passport issue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was going to say, Clint, you would have been at Sapphire, wouldn't you? But uh, you, something happened to your passport. Can you tell uh, us? Uh, a lot of moving parts at the moment, Stephen. A lot of moving parts, but we'll discuss it in Nashville when I'm there. Um, Stephen, I know we, we, we spoke about this <laughs> earlier on in the year when you were um, looking at putting this conference together. Now, there's obviously, and I use the word divide loosely, um, between the classic business objects conference, the old Bob Forum people, and then you know, the new SAP world. And I think from what I always understand, the Business Objects User Conference was someone people are very passionate about, the old school Bob J guys, and then there's the new, obviously, yeah. new school SAP guys. How have you guys, and I, I think we all agreed at the time, that was your biggest struggle of bringing those worlds together. How, how have you found that? Do you think you've achieved that? I mean, I think I said... You know, um, it's been a sort challenge. Sort of to say, you're absolutely right, because that's perfect. <laughs> For, for a change, you're absolutely right. Um, <laughs> that, ha- that has been the challenge. The challenge was taking people who are very, very passionate on both sides of the fence and ensuring that we're inclusive. It's in our best interest and the community's best interest for the conference to really make sure we address everyone's needs. And when we put together our chart at the end of production and we showed a color-coded version to the steering committee, we feel like we hit an absolute 50-50 dead heat of the amount of content that the GBNers could look at, uh, the Global Business Object Network folk could look at and say, oh, that's for us. And those who had sort of back-end ERP, BI, legacy, um, th- that's where they came from. They would look at half the program and go, that's for us. I, that's how, I, that, that's I, how we feel. I actually think you did better than that. I think you did 75-75. Like, I think that there's, there's a ton of content that will resonate um, especially with sort of the, the business objects only folks, uh, a bunch of content that will resonate specifically with the SAP uh, ERP sort of reporting folks. And then I think you have a lot that's going to go both ways, right? I, I think that there's a, a lot there, uh, especially around the newer tools um, and, and you know, the, the data platform and, and just those sorts of things that, that are going to, bring everybody together, right? So I, I think you're going to be yeah. and see and see half BW people and half uh, classic Bob J people, and they're, they're both going to get a ton out of it from looking at the schedule. It was... Um, I'm, I'm pleased happy. you think that, Jamie. It was, it, no, I'm pleased you think that. It was for us. It was a huge priority. You know, I felt like the conference... <coughs> 
excuse me. My, my sweating, by the way, really is because I'm literally sitting in a car in 100 degrees and trying not to blare the air con. Um, the, I, we, you you, know, you we sure it's because numbers aren't good, Steve? Say again? You sure it's not because numbers are tight or are you looking good with numbers? <laughs> How's registration? Sorry, li- oh, registration's going... That, was that his question? <laughs> registration's going very well. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, did, I missed your question. You broke up there. Sorry. Um, but, oh, have you got me now? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can hear you. Can you hear me? Okay, cool. Cool. Um, so, that was that then. Yeah. I've forgotten what I was saying. That's all right. That's all right. Um, before, <laughs> before we go any further, we should mention it is Clint's birthday today. Uh, or it was yesterday. I'm not sure. I don't know what no, you in Australia. It'll be, it'll, it'll be tomorrow for you. So you can celebrate tomorrow, even though you're celebrating now with two naked ladies. What are you celebrating I have, with? I have, I have two women. Two women, I'm yeah. Totally naked. So we'll see yeah. how that shakes out. That's why yeah, I have Yeah, just, uh, seriously, it is so hot. I had to get out my car. Yeah, with that, I mean, we, we, we could have you pass out on, on a DS lad, which could, could drive numbers. It would be amazing. That could drive big traffic. <laughs> <laughs> the venue is fully air conditioned, correct? In Nashville, it will be August. Oh. Yes. Um, it, should be, it should be warm in Nashville. I was there last week. So I, w- I was doing a recce. Yeah. Um, I, had to test, I had to test everything just to make sure that, you know, people weren't going to get poisoned by the alcohol and what have you. I hope it's thorough. Very thorough. Very thorough. Um, so I think one thing we've really talked about in this conference uh, is balance, right? So balance between Bob J and, and uh, uh, BW folks, right? Balance between uh, SAP voices, customer voices, uh, partner voices. Uh, I think in looking at the, um, the agenda, the other thing I noticed is a great balance between all the names we've been seeing forever in the space, uh, as long as a lot of new and interesting ones, right? So, you know, we're going to have, we're going to have the big names that, that have presented for years because they've been fantastic for years. Um, we're going to have our trusted partners uh, who have, who have taught us all a thing or two. Uh, and we're going to have some new and interesting customers. Um, I know the NHL is on board, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Talked to us before we've got like, the Royal Canadian Navy, we've got Intel, we've got just a ton of new voices in the space. Um, do you have any sort of idea um, um, how many sessions we have? Uh, and can you tell us a little bit about the keynotes too? Sure. Um, once again, I made some notes so that I didn't leave anyone out um, about the keynotes, but we've got 30 customers the 66 sessions that we've got. We've got six keynotes. Um, and I think the most exciting keynotes is, as you mentioned, the NHL. They're doing some amazing stuff uh, with SAP HANA and particularly about how they interact with customers and creating loyalty and stickiness. It's a great story. Uh, Kyle Tate, who produced this conference, and I want to give a shout out to Kyle Tate, has done a stellar job uh, working with the committee, which you were part of, and and hunting and finding these storytellers and convincing them, like the Vice Admiral Ron Lloyd, um, from the who's a commander in the Royal Canadian Navy, and Tim Gibble, who commands the analytics team from the Royal Canadian Navy. The work they're doing, you know, I think uh, I think Kyle said to them, "Come on, you can't ever be at war. Everyone loves Canada. Who who would want to fight with Canada?" They said, "We're in a we're we're in a we're in a cyber war." Um, and that's really where all the technology we use comes to play. There's a lot of threat out there, and it's about constantly checking into our data and understanding uh, where the traffic flows are. So um, I thought that was really interesting. Those are two of the keynotes that I think are most interesting for customers. Of course, SAP's keynote is going to be great. Um, we've, uh, we've got Mike Flanagan, who's the senior VP of product strategy uh, in that analytics group. I was fortunate enough to meet him at Sapphire. I think, I think the uh, SAP BI and A community is going to be very uh, excited to uh, to get to meet Mike. 
Should be really good. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. And then we've got Jessica Buchanan. And we, we always at Eventful like to add something quite human into our conferences, something human into our keynotes. We always bring somebody out who's done something interesting. And Jessica Buchanan was actually kidnapped um, and, sa and saved by the SEALs. Um, SEAL Team 6, I think they're called. Um, she was captured by pirates and held for months. And it's an incredible human interest story of will and desire and like beating odds that seemed nearly impossible. And she's very, very moving, her story. So she's one of our keynotes that I think people are going to really like. We've got a guard of Australia that I know Clint probably interacts a lot with, uh, Jorgen Rasmussen, who uh, ran the BI side of things at Rio Tinto for many years and is a very, very smart guy. He's got a great presentation that we're putting on the keynote stage. And then our conference MC, who's also doing the closing keynote, is a guy called Peter O'Donnell, uh, who's exploring what's next for BI and big data and analytics. He's, uh, he's a real uh, thinker, philosopher on the subject, has done a great job in the Australian community for many years. So those are some of our keynotes. But as I say, I think we've got 66 sessions. You can check them all out at biaconference.com. Um, we're running a special this week, might I add, Memorial Day sale, uh, just till the close of the week. And Rejo's are going American really you, well. Steve. Say again? Very American of you. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> slotted, slotted that in. Or ABC. <laughs> ABC, Clint. And um, there you go. Okay. Um, so I'm going to be uh, respectful of everybody's time. I know that we've uh, we've we've kept you until the end of the hour. Um, thank you very much, Steve. I again, I'm really looking forward to this conference. You know, I've been to Eventful uh, in Australia twice, um, and it's just been amazing. Like it, it really just doesn't feel like any other conference I've been to. Um, and I've been to some great, thank you. Uh, but but those ones really always stand out. Uh, and I think. Bringing that, uh, you know, uh, precision and and lots of heart uh, to the community, I think it's really going to resonate well because, like you said, you know, we're we're a very passionate group up here, um, and and I think that uh, eventful is very good at uh, celebrating, if you will. Um, so with that, uh, my last words are going to be: Go Cavaliers! They take on the your Golden State Warriors tonight. They do indeed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about your loss. Jamie, we'll we'll see, yeah. we'll see. Um, is that uh, Jamie? Is that hockey? Uh, no, no, Clint. We're no. Come on, back. Clint. Come on, go. I back, know, go, I, I know. Go back I know. to bed. I beat you in the pool <laughs> at the Hilton Orlando a couple years ago at basketball. Well, I mean, that's the first time I've ever picked up a basketball. So give me time. I've been practicing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, thanks, Jamie. Can I, can I can I just say one thing? You know, it's 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 community members like you and Clint, who were part of our research. And then, Jamie, you were part of our, of our committee who selected and helped us vet all the content. And we got a fortune of submissions. It's really a community endeavor that drives this sort of thing. So it's very kind of you to say nice things about Eventful. And we definitely do it differently to others and create a great vibe. But it's, it's by and for the community. Um, so thank you. And thank you both for your, for your role in that. Clint, we hope to see you there. Steve, um, I, look forward to, I look forward to it. And, and, and I... Uh... As, as someone who's also done many conferences, the, the Business Objects Conference in America is something I always wanted to go to. Um, well, you should yeah. absolutely come. I know, I know um, some people. Um, and it's, and, and, if, and if, if you can get it, because, because the thing is, it's, it's those are my people, you know, from a nerd perspective. Those are my people. And if, and if, and if the balance of where you say it's right to be that celebration of, of, of the people coming together, it should be an amazing event. So, yeah, just, just hang, hang on to your passport. Make sure yeah. you got that well, handy. Well, yeah, starts so, we'll, the South African travel ban right away. Yeah, we'll discuss it over <laughs> a bourbon or 12 in Nashville. Long story as always. I like it. All right, guys. Thank you for having me. Thank you very Thanks, much. Steve. We'll see you in Nashville. Ciao. This podcast is hosted and sponsored by EV Technologies. Visit us on the net at savethecms.com. D-Slayer!